Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com and um, hopefully you can see that. So, uh, what is it? It's a rocket ship. It's a glow-in-the-dark rocket ship. So, let's turn on a few lights here. I push the right button here. So, this is what it looks like in the light. And this is what it looks like in the dark. Light. Dark. So, uh, this is this is hollow. How, how, why do I have a problem with the word hollow? Uh, anyways, we printed this uh, hollow out of, uh, out of uh, some PLA... Uh, uh, what is it? Glow-in-the-dark PLA filament. I'll spit it out. So let's go ahead before we talk too much more about this. Let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the um, uh, time lapse of this, and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about it. So, time lapse. Now for a time lapse video. Ready, set, let's go. Okay, welcome back. So we've uh, pulled it off the bed and you kind of got to see a little bit of it. Um, so I printed this out of the um, glow in the dark PLA um, and it's how, and as you kind of saw, it's not too, too bright. I've exposed this to quite a bit of light um, prior to uh, showing you it in the dark. Uh, and, and one of the things I did have read online if, if it, the, the more mass, the brighter it becomes, and since this has got nothing in it, it's hollow, um, it's not really that bright. So I did print it at a 0 0.3 layer height, um, so it came out, yeah, not too bad. And one of the things, I don't know if you can see, I'm holding the tip up here at 0 0.3, it did come out a little bit squiggly, not as nice as, um, so... See, you see the tip here. So this is a smaller rocket. I printed on the Wanhao at, at 0.1 layer height, and this is very smooth. And so hopefully you can see if uh, the camera is focusing um, sort of the difference in, in the points, how they came out. So that's rather interesting. All in all, for a 0.3 layer height and just something I wanted to do pretty quick, it didn't come out too bad. I probably printed it a little bit hotter. I printed it about 230, so I printed it at the upper end for the, the PLA, um, which did come out with some weird striations in, in, in this, and I think it's probably part of the 0.3 layer height, too, because, you know, some of the uh, uh, points settled, you know, some of the layers settled, while other layers didn't settle. Uh, so it's got a weird sort of texture to it, um, which isn't bad if it's, it's sitting there sort of on a shelf and look at it. It sort of look, reminds me of a carrot, uh, <laughs> the striations on a carrot. So I don't know, maybe I'll try printing one at a point, uh, point one layer height and see if it comes out any different. Uh, because I, I simply wanted to play around with the, uh, the filament because I did get the glow in the dark in and wanted to see how it works. It sticks to the bed pretty good. Uh, as, as you've probably seen in the prior video, I'm using this 
uh, Ultralex uh, pad, so it, it seems to be working pretty good. Stuck uh, very well to it. Didn't have too big of an issue getting it off. One of the things, though, I do want to kind of share too is is so uh, if I don't stick my finger in the fan, is is so, sort of up here. Let me tip this back up a little bit. Is, is so I've changed the uh, hot end and I've got put this other fan shroud on. I think as you saw in the other video, it's sort of up there. Um, one of the things that I do notice that, especially because I've had I had black PLA in it, and I've printed out some other stuff already, but some of the black still sort of remains in the hot end too, and you can probably see a little bit of it there at the bottom. Uh, so I've had a little bit of a challenge with the all metal hot end, totally clearing it out of a darker color. Um, you can see another little piece here, so it's kind of weird. I, I don't know if it's sticking on the bottom or what. Uh, the layer fan seems to be working pretty good. Um, that we uh, let me do position and bring it down. Um, this is home Z. So, uh, anyways, um, seems to be working pretty good. I am going to order. I haven't done it yet, and thanks to some of my viewers for sending me links to different uh, 40 millimeter versions of the fan. It's on my to-do list to get it uh, to get one ordered and, and to up this to 40. However, I, from an aspect of cooling, this does seem to be working pretty good, so I'm happy with it. Um, the only problem is it's a little bit difficult to see the layers go down, so because th this, the base of this is about the size of this cooling ring, and it's so close to the bed, you really can't see it. So, um, just sort of some interesting stuff there. So, again, starting to build a little bit of a rocket collection. I, I sort of like these as my... Um, test pieces and it is just a cool design so I've got the smaller versions and, and that so anyways um, if you want to give it a try I'll put the link link to this below um, in the description and uh, if you want to print it out give it a shot um, you know go ahead let me know how it works out for you and again um, you know I'm playing around I'm going to do some other prints with this uh, filament uh, this glow in the dark PLA so apparently it comes in both ABS and PLA. I'll put links to uh, links to it down below also. If you're interested in getting some, go ahead and you know give it a shot. Again, I printed this about 2:30. Uh, might have been a little bit hot, um, so uh, went to the higher side. But anyways, so hopefully you found this interesting. Uh, and you start building your own rocket collection after a while. Let me. Uh, if I can just change this up here a little bit so you can kind of see the the rocket collection looking down upon it. So anyways, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, hit me up below. You know, um, how are you doing printing with uh, glow in the dark filament? Have you done it? Have you found any other tricks? Uh, please share them and, um, you know, maybe I'll do another video on it and, you know, share some of the, the uh, tricks and tips. So, again, looking for some myself. So, cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.